What's up and welcome to another episode of It's Tip Top Fishing. My name is Keaton Ditchfield and there's a, a tut and toll in the road that's going to run in front of the car. Oh, he's got a limp. Shame. Those bloody birds are on the suicide squad. They just love running across the road one way, turning around and running across the... Oh, cute! We've got a crowned lapwing and little baby. There he is. Hello, little baby. How's that for camouflage, eh? Cute! So back to what I was saying, we're on an adventure and we are here at how to be has to be a sport dam fishing for some carp. Let's get to the campsite. So let's quickly run you through what I'm using. Um, I've got a very heavy leader on. Uh, it is Kingfisher leader line. It's 0.55 millimeters and 16.5 kilos. It is very, very thick. The reason why I've made it quite thick is because there are so many snags. And I say snags, I mean boats and moor lines, um, which are made of chains and rope and all kinds of things that can hook up a line and snap it, especially if you've got a fish pulling from the other end. Then I've got a little uh, drop-off lead uh, system, a little lead clip where I've got a quick chain swivel, a tiny little anti-tangle sleeve, a 20 pound uh, fluorocarbon tra uh, trace, not trace, fluorocarbon um, hook link and then I've got a spinner rig, a lovely little spinner rig with a gardener hook and a citrus pop-up from Stealth Baits. Let's hope that works, apparently this colour works here. Oh. I hope I catch. I love going on adventures, but what I love even more is catching fish. Could I just lay a bit of advice on you guys while I'm eating lunch and sitting on the floor. Why am I sitting on the floor? Because it's actually so hot. The floor is actually nice and cool and bearable. So a little bit of advice. Um, what, when you're fishing a marina like the one I'm fishing here, you've got to remember to back lead. If you don't back lead, you're in trouble because even though the bo boats are moored and it looks st stable and no one's going to go anywhere because there's no one in the boats, you've got to back lead because there's so many people that will come around and just set up their boat in front of you or drive around over your lines and they don't know that your lines are there they don't know where your lines are laying so if you back lead your lines are literally underneath them and there's no problem so we've got the expert here Erhard from Tiratik so what are we doing now? We're taking my rods out. Yes, your rods are going out. We're going to look for a lucky spot there. Got the special feed in a bucket. Special feed. And then we're going to hope the fish will give us some luck later on. Yeah, man. So Erat has caught plenty fish here. So at least we know we're on the right spots. Not like me guessing and, <laughs> and trying to go to random places and just hoping for the best. So luckily we don't have any wind at the moment. Oh, I knew this was going to happen. Oh no! See what happens when you put too much flavor flav. <laughs> it's fine, all the extra flavor is going to make my spot nice and juicy juicy. Sorry about that. That sucks. It's a boat, must be used. So, putting it in right by the motors. Obviously, the line won't go between the motors, it'll go underneath. And it's so much easier when you've got two people. So much easier. I've firstly got my chauffeur over here. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll be your chauffeur if you want me to. Yeah. Do some back leading. So we don't catch it with the boat. Okay, where are we going? We're going to the Coca-Cola boat. The old famous one, everyone knows it. Um, it's famous for producing some nice big fish, 
carp, 16 plus cages come out there. Um, this is my right hand rod, it's going gonna go there. We've just seen a guy fishing between the boats on the right hand corner. He caught a nice one, probably about 8-9 kgs. I see his fish case a bit... Cock. The dam had some rain here yesterday and the day before, so a lot of oxygen in the water. The water is very clean, so let's hope the fish are more active than last weekend. The sun has finally gone down and it is time for the fish to bite. It is bite time now. Edart is working out electricity power points. He's now from gone from butler to electricity but uh, electrician. I was butler and then I went to cameraman. Ah, oh, what a lovely day. Let's just hope we catch. And I hope this stuff doesn't get too bad because that stuff's crap. Sorry about the shirt guys, freaking hot here. Flipping hot. I can't stand the heat. I prefer fishing in the winter. But my wife and two sons are here. They don't like the cold as <laughs> much. <laughs> so yeah, I think this rod was in about, what? Not even 30 minutes, Keaton? Yeah, we put it in just before sunset and the sun's just gone down now. And um, we had a beep. And then the fish came along. <laughs> the rod tip was bending over, and we all love that. Which rod is this? this is the Coca Cola rod? Yeah, this is the Coca Cola boat rod. Luckily, it's coming straight at us, so we don't have to go and fetch it with the boat. So, this is the Coca Cola boat drop that we made. Not even 30 minutes ago. It's not the biggest one here. Still small, but at least it's something. We know the baits are working. The hook baits are working. And the fish are active. We want to safely release it now and then redo the rod so it can swim away on its own. It's easy as that. I'd love to see another day. So, yesterday, was Friday the 13th and last night was Friday the 13th and boy did it feel like it yes this did we have bad luck and this morning how many runs did I get three three uh, three runs caught no fish we got tangled on boats on lines on the prop on of the motor we got tangled on back leads and I say we does me his lines were well behaved. Um, what else? I got frustrated and then decided to cast and then decided to cast over a boat and then got the line stuck on the boat. Friday 13th yesterday. And it's Edhard's birthday today. Thank you, Keaton. So pop a comment in the comment section below to say happy birthday to this guy. Hopefully he gets a birthday PB, hey? And then he gets a birthday bucket. Is this the standard one from Terratech or did you spice it up a bit? Uh, yeah, it's a bit spiced up. See? 
Okay, so Friday the 13th is yesterday and I've got on my lucky socks <laughs> and I got a fish on. Hopefully it's still on, we're around the boy. Let's go this, let's go this side, Mr. Uh, driver Sir. So, hoping it's still on. Really hope it's still on, flipping hell. I will be so happy if it's, if it's a fish. Yeah, we can't lose, you can't lose four in a row. Oh God, no. We, as it happened, I just slid on there. It's an alarm. Shut up. It's exactly 7.15. I can feel it on this boy. It's not the biggest calf in the world, but it's still on. Holy shit. Just grab that. Um Camera main, main, man, Nate's main. Nate man. <laughs> hey, it's not a, it's, it might not be a It's, a I don't think it's a, a small one, but at least the curse is going to be broken. Broken. Oh. Looks like a, almost a Like a ghosty, eh? Ghosty. Well done. That is a mess. Yes! The curse is lifted. You don't perhaps have a ledger by your net. No, I don't. Damn it. We did lose the lead, but we're going to try to drop it again. We're just unhooking it in the water here, just so that the rig doesn't pull it and cause all sorts of mischief while we're taking it back. But we'll show it to you right now. Yes! There you go. Now let me know if you guys think it's a mirror, or it's a ghosty or not because its facial markings look a bit like a ghosty it's about five six kilos I wouldn't say seven but I'd say about six or five wonderful fish caught on a mixed berry pop-up on a spinner rig with a three ounce lead 20 pound leader and a short about 15 to 20 centimeter hook link lovely he tried to wrap us up and cut us off but it didn't manage to. So happy about that. We didn't blank, we both caught fish. Yes, we didn't catch the biggies we were after, but it's about the adventure, not really about how big the fish you catch. Until you catch a big fish and then it's all about catching the big fish. <laughs> Super happy about this. Let's put her back and hopefully catch another one in the next hour or two. I'm gonna start packing up and then head home. Lovely! beans. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Catch that fish. Just after Keaton showed you the video now of his fish, my rod's ripped away. Fancy this butte. It's not the biggest one, but luckily it's fish number two for me. Unfortunately, Keaton lost three. Um, this one is about seven and a half, eight, if I must guess. We're not going to wait. Feeding on the particles that I've pre prepared, and the hook bait is the all favorite um, mixed berry pink from Terra Tech. And yeah, let's hope for some more buttes. So that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all those cool things. And thanks for watching. Till next time, tight lines, guys.